Hey guys, uh, today's oil change day. So, car has 1900 miles on it, and I uh, decided that I want to give it its first change. Uh, get rid of that factory initial oil, breaking oil, and uh, give it something clean to work with. So, I'm going to try to make a quick video on the process, and uh, while I kind of figure that out on my own, I've watched uh, a couple helpful videos on YouTube, so I think I'm Certified as a Scat Pack SRT, just general charger challenger uh, oil change guy. So let's tackle it. So what we have here are seven quarts of this uh, Pennzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic Zero W40. Right, cool, we've got that the SRT logo on the oil. We've got a oil filter. I have course the jack uh, oil catch pan uh, uh, got the the oil filter wrench got a ratchet with a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter got a mag pad from zeal one add-ons so let's go ahead and get the car in the air. So I'm going to start on the passenger side first. <clears throat> Not sure if I'm be able to. Anyway, there's a section down here where the pinch weld that you this fits in. And it's magnetic, so see. There it is. Should be able to take my jack and put it on there and safely lift the car. It's kind of cool how they uh, put that tag on there, rem remove before flight, so you don't accidentally leave it on there and drive off. So, slowly lifting. Make sure I'm checking this to make sure I don't see anything as far as damage occurring. sure how high I'm going to take it. That seems okay. So at this point, let me go ahead and throw a jack stand into there and see Oh, that works. So, what I've seen from videos from like work, play, drive, there's a triangle that is. Oh, I saw it for a second. Right, kind of right in the middle of the screen. I can get focused. There it is. Be able to fit. Should be able to get this jack right there. I think I might bring it up just a little bit more. Happy with that, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it. And 
and that appears to be holding. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and come back. Alright, so the front of the car is jacked up. I also, I left the jack um, on that side just as a you know, precautionary thing in case there's a failure. And if you watched a bit, my last video, I also have this jack stop from ZL1 add-ons that fits this uh, this particular jack that should keep it from falling in case uh, a hydraulic pressure failed. This keeps it locked in. So that's kind of cool. Um, so alright, so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and remove a panel that's underneath the car. Okay, so we're into the car now. Um, here's the cover we need to get off. It says, uh, actually says here remove for engine service. Torque bolts to 35 inch foot pounds. Blah, 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 blah. So there's marks here one, two, three, and four on which bolts we need to remove. I don't know if there's a particular sequence to that numbering, but I'll just do it. Uh, this would probably be a good time to wear some safety glasses. Uh, more than likely, there's debris and dirt trapped up there. You can see I'm not wearing any, so I'll let you know how this goes as far as my vision. <clears throat> but, uh... So far, so good. But my car still only has uh, 1,900 miles on it, so it's not like I went 6,000 or even 3,000 miles. Probably from here on out, I'll go 3,000 between three and four. I don't. It's just hard for me to wait to six. You have to imagine at some point the engine oil starts to break down. I mean, maybe it can last 6,000 safely, but I don't know. Alright, so just, that just slid off. And now we have access to the oil pan and the oil filter. So let's get working on that. Okay, so now we're at the point where we're gonna go ahead and remove the uh, drain bolt. Actually came off really easy. Okay, so I did run the car today. I can feel in the engine it's still a little warm, so hopefully nothing happens here too bad. So I got a lot of pressure here against the bolt and to try to keep it from uh, coming out. It's already coming out a little bit, so I'm going to pull it quick and see what happens. Okay. And it's draining. So my current concern right now is just whether or not this is large enough to catch the amount of oil that's going to drain out of the engine here. It seems like it's already dying off, so it's lost most of the pressure, and there's still probably halfway to go before it uh, before this is filled up. So I think I'm going to be good. Give this time to drain, and then we'll come back and uh, tackle the oil filter. Okay, so at this point, uh, the engine. The oil is pretty much done draining from the uh, out of the out of the car. It's just slowly drop dropping a little bit of oil every couple seconds. So I'm just gonna plug it. And uh, I'll come back and uh, tighten it down. But so if I didn't do that in the video, someone comment in case I forgot. I think I got it.
I didn't mention at the beginning that I probably should have is that uh, generally you, know, you would also pull the dipstick uh, before you drain, which should cause the uh, oil to drain quicker. I forgot about that. I pulled it now, but it had already we had already drained all the oil, so that's just something to think about for next time. Okay, so I've never used a uh, oil filter wrench like this before, um, so I'm a little new at it. So, but you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty, those types of things don't change. So. I'm gonna go ahead and try turning it and see how it goes. Oh, well, that was honestly that was kind of disappointing. Probably should have got something that was ratcheting. But from what I heard is that these things were really on, so I wanted to give myself something with some more leverage. Let me see if I can... Oh yeah, I can hand it. Unless that wrench, unless that wrench I just used there is just... That baller. Alright, so this is going to get messy. I don't see any way around it. My last car, the oil filter mounted sideways, so it wasn't as bad. So I'm gonna try not to get anything on the camera. Oh, it's still threading off. Oh, there we go. Okay, that went terrible. Leave. Okay, so whatever I did there, don't do that because I'm cut my arms covered in oil and uh Okay, so current thoughts, uh the black filter is what came off the car and the white ones what I'm planning on putting in the car. Uh they are different part numbers. This one <clears throat> There's its part number, and then this one has a completely different one. I mean, I, I researched beforehand, and this one's supposed to work just fine, so I'm going to go with it. I did notice up here that this one has this rubber seal here, and this one seems to have a place for one of those. However, it's not there. Um, I just looked underneath the car where this thread's in it, and there's no seal stuck up there, so... That's a little interesting. So maybe it fell in with the uh, oil in the in the catch bucket, uh, or maybe it just never had one. I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this in, and hopefully we'll be good. So the first thing before putting this filter in the car, we want to go ahead and fill it with oil. So. Got the oil here, hopefully. Well, this is pouring nice, right? Okay, that's probably plenty. Maybe I'll give it a little splash. All right, so that's pretty much filled up to the brim, almost. There's still a little more room in there, but that should get, the, that should get it done. And while I'm here, you know, go ahead and rub a little clean oil on the uh, rubber seal here. And that is in the instructions. So, I mean, I've always done that with my other cars, but that's actually illustrated right here on the, right here on the side here. It looks like it's step number two. So, all right, let's go put this in. All right, so here we are. 
time to reverse the process. Uh, this pretty much is at a, maybe it's got a drip every 30 seconds or so. So I'm gonna call it ready to go. See if we can get this started. All right, I think I've got it. Yep. So I mean, I've read some people only keep these hand tight. Um, I've never subscribed to that. Make myself some room here. Although I don't disagree makes me nervous something that's only hand tight I mean can I really be sure it's not gonna leak I don't know so I will give it pretty much all I got as far as twisting it and then I think I'll give it like a quarter a turn with the wrench <sighs> maybe Okay. I mean, this just still turning pretty easy. All right, I think I think I'll stop there. I wasn't giving that much force at all, but and then from what I've read, the proper torque spec for the uh, the drain bolt is uh, 20 foot pounds so let's go ahead and get, torque that on over here okay it's just a cheap torque wrench but uh we're not rebuilding a motor with this, so should do fine. All right, that's 20. Doesn't really seem like much, but let me get a little more. Okay. Let's call it 23. So at this point, uh, let's go up top and uh, get her filled up. Okay. First time I'm taking this off. It's pretty irresponsible of me this far not to have even checked the oil level. Should be something you should check weekly or bi weekly. Really. Right, so here's what was left of the, the first quart that I used for the. Uh, the oil filter. Okay, so we put six on the car. I believe it takes somewhere like around six and a half. So what I'm going to do is turn the car on, let it run for a minute or so, and then check the fluid level. Put the uh, oil dipstick back in. And 
go ahead and fire it up. step in. Yeah, yeah, I don't have a health, can I? Or an SRT. But I've got SRT pages. Play on that. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn the car off. Check for any leaks or anything underneath the car. Which hopefully there aren't any. Obviously. Alright, so. Mm. Looks good there. And up here. Dirty hot. Anyway, my hands are clean, so go ahead and say that this is gonna be leak free. So now we're gonna put this uh, that panel from underneath the car back on and check for. It's kind of a boring place to look at. I'll check the engine oil level. And then uh, we'll top it off if need be. Um, I'm going to empty the oil catch can and uh, we'll be done. All right, now that uh, now everything's put back together, I'm going to go ahead and drop it on the ground before I do my last uh, check for the uh, oil level. And uh, we can put a wrap on this. Okay. <clears throat> no damage down there, so I'm happy. Let's do this. I'm gonna do the other side, and then we'll do the last check. Okay, so let's see where we're at. Okay, so it looks like where we are possibly in the ad. It's kind of hard to see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in that half a that half a quart, and um, hopefully that should be fine. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think we're in the safe, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. And then last, so we're gonna go ahead and see if there's anything in this guy. certainly is. So, let's see if I can get something to pour this into so we can see what, you know, how much there is there. 
All right, so here's what I ended up with. Uh, not a ton of oil, but yeah, this is about 1,700 miles. That's how much oil uh, it caught. So. Better than recycling it back through the motor. So, okay. So I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go ahead and thread that back on, and uh, I'm finished. So uh, if you stuck around, appreciate it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next vid. And then, last but not least, make sure to reset. The oil here in the vehicle info. And oil life was at 69%. So this hold okay to reset. Now we're at 100%. So that is the last step. Okay, one last thing. I was uh, emptying the oil back into the uh, containers to recycle and there's that uh, rubber seal from the initial uh, original oil filter so I feel a lot better now so anyway since I brought it up figured I'd mention that I found it so, okay